Joan Burbage was associated with Christchurch Hospital for over 30 years and over the time she gave exceptional service both to her patients and to fellow physiotherapists and the board. She was certainly very interested to see progress in physiotherapy and to encourage her staff to keep advancing their own knowledge and skills and it was through her initiatives that a scholarship was approved, awarded by the Department of Health in association with the North Canterbury Hospital Board and which I was successful in being awarded for my year's overseas study. In 1963 I moved to Christchurch having been awarded the scholarship for my overseas study. So I had just six short weeks here in Christchurch just to orientate me a little bit prior to leaving. But this appointment was really thanks to the foresight and initiative that Joan Durbage displayed to see what the future of physiotherapy was likely to be. Following that short period of orientation, I flew to America and studied at the Miriam Hospital in Providence, Rhode Island under Dr. Herman Cabot who by that time had left San Francisco, had left there and was working on the East Coast, along with another New Zealand physiotherapist, Margaret Hursley, who had originally been in Rotorua and with whom I had worked for a short time on the PNF techniques whilst in Auckland. It was really thanks to Margaret Hursley, in particular, who taught us the practical side and tutored us very thoroughly in that and as well as giving us theoretical input. Dr. Cabot did give us some lectures but as I say it was much more Margaret Hursley's role. Whilst in Providence I was fortunate enough to fly back across the states to the University of Southern California in Los Angeles to attend a three-week course there by Professor Margaret Rood. Her concepts are much more on the sensory input side. She was a very lovable person. We had a small group of people from various countries in the world and she frequently confused an Australian who was on the same course as I and myself from New Zealand. I don't know why but we were always muddled as to which country we came from. Not that that was going to affect our studies of course at all. Then it was a case of returning to complete my time at Miriam Hospital, Rhode Island, which took me up until just before Christmas. And from there, I flew to England because early in the new year, I was to attend another course, this time in London, given by Dr. and Mrs. Bertha Bobarth. The Bobarth course was a three-month course and was quite intense. We had lectures and lots of practical work. Uh, for some reason or other, maybe because I asked a lot of questions in relation to what I'd just come freshly from, both in the PNF and the sensory stimulation areas, I didn't go down too well with the Bobaths. And added to that, I also wanted to take a long weekend in order to go up to Withington to attend another course on connective tissue massage, which was being held there. However, I did get through the Bobath course and I quite enjoyed it, and I've certainly found their techniques to be of value and interest. <laughs>